Steven or cosplay Steven is a horrible excuse of a tech sync pair. But don't take my word for it. Watch this video and find out together why I think you should not scout for cosplay Steven and Stoutland. And with that said, guys, strap on your seatbelts, sit tight, and let's begin this Do Not Scout video. Here we go. Yo, 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 this is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt, the artist team skull Grunt, and this is Pokemon Masters EX. Guys, in this video, I tell you all the reasons why you want to skip and do not scout for Cosplay Steven and Stoutland. Because, because why not? Everyone has been overly positive and it's getting boring. It's time for you to invest wisely. Uh, for your gems and just scout for the important sync pair. So in this video, I am overly negative, guys. If you want a positive look at these sync pairs, you can check out my April 2023 sync pairs who to scout for a video. As of this moment, I probably have not yet finished done doing this video. Wait for it when it comes out. Or you can check out my ready, ready now, one out of five or none out of five scouting guide where I just discuss getting one copy will get you how far. So if you just want one copy, no candies, no whatsoever, and you're satisfied with just collecting the sync pairs, here is the video you should look at. But in this video, I am overly negative and tell you why you should not scout. So before we continue, guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up right now, as well as subscribe if you haven't. Click on the subscribe button anywhere and click on the bell button. A lot of you are subscribed but do not have your notifications all, so you miss out on a lot of my videos. Be sure to set that to all and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're scouting or skipping Cosplay Steven in Stoutland. And if you want to push the support a bit further, you can become a member of my channel, just like these awesome people out here. Thank you so much for your kindness and support. You can support my channel for as low as one US dollar a month. If you click on the join button down below, whether it's here, there, wherever you see it, click on it and become a member just like these awesome people. If you want to become a member but do not have the means to do so, you can become active in the live chat, in the comments, everywhere else, and you might be lucky to receive one of my gift memberships from these awesome people and many other people who later on will gift memberships. Thank you to my gifters for your extra generosity. Really appreciate it. And with that said, out of the way, let's begin, guys. This is the timeline of events. And right away, we see that Steven is the first sync pair of the bunch. Now, we still have a lot of sync pairs running. We still have um, Champion Marnie, Champion Hop, Champion Bead, and Ball Guy, and some other banners, guys. If you do not have Champion Marnie, Champion Bead, Champion Hop yet, and you are desperate to get one copy, it's not time to see a new banner and just scout. Use your gems wisely again. Go finish your bead Marnie Hop Scouts first. If you only have one copy and you're close to scout points, I highly suggest you to just end your scout points and just get another copy. Make me go for 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5, heck, even 4 out of 5 or 5 out of 5 if you're lucky. Because just how difficult it is to get one Master Fair unit. Or, you know, just some people, you know. I, I question some people. Probably you're not yet familiar with the game too much. Or you're not familiar with the Sync Grid. Some people, satisfied with one copy, want to get another Sync Pair they do not have. Hey, come on, guys. Every single Sync Pair you see, aside from the featured unit, is permanent. Any banner will get you those sync pairs. Get the limited unit because you will not go wrong getting the limited unit. So, if you got shafted with any of the past banners, I do not think that it is time for you to scout because you might get shafted again. And as 
the first sync pair, you know, you might want to restock because you do not know when the next villain art is coming. Maybe it's coming on May. Maybe we'll have a brand new sync pair happening. April 25, you know, Signa Suit Luzumin is coming back. Very good psychic type. You might want to scout for her. If you want Signa Suit uh, Brendan or Anniversary May, might also be a good idea to scout for that instead. But Detective Steven, you probably do not want to scout. If you watch my intro, you should know that I said he's a terrible excuse. A bad excuse of a tech sync pair. You'll know that very soon. But in this slide, in these six limited time sync pairs. And by the way, guys, check out my how many gems can we get video for a list for to know how many gems we get. We do not get a la lot, honestly. So, among these six sync pairs... We have Steven, a tech sync pair. We have Zinnia, another tech sync pair. All the others are supports. I believe that Steven works better as a support than a tech. And why is that, guys? First of all, before we go down that route, these four are cosplay scouts. That means they're seasonal scouts in some way. And if you have paid gems, you are guaranteed one copy if you spend 20,200 paid gems. That's a lot, but if you have 20,200, you can get one copy by reaching tier 10. Or 25% chance of getting one copy if you spend 7,700 paid gems. If you go for the regular banner, you get three tech move candy coins by scouting three multiples on his banner. And uh, three support move candy coins, three tech move candy coins, three support move candy coins, three support move candy coins, three support move candy coins. Now, in terms of Lorelai and Bruno, although they're variety scouts, they're sus, they're limited, you can get one sure copy by spending 7,500 paid gems on their banners rather than 20,200 paid gems on his banner and just going that long route and maybe ending up with just one copy it might be better to scout for these two instead where they give you one copy with 7500 gems paid gems but that aside they all share a two percent chance of scouting for them and a seven percent chance of getting a random five star in their respective banners so low scouting rates, you know, you want to go for Poke Fairs instead. Maybe you want to go for Master Fairs instead for that 12% chance of getting a random 5-star. But only a 7% chance of a random 5-star. So maybe expect dead multis, dead multis, dead multis. Which hurt a lot if you do not have a lot of gems. And you see a dead multi and it's just sad because you spent so hard getting those gems. And it all went down two ways, guys. So... That's it. Now, for the reason why he is better off as a support sync pair. If you actually see his kit, guys, he has super effective plus or super effective up and mystery solve. And what mystery solve does is raise an ally speed stat by two and raise the uh, an ally's physical moves up next effect by three stat ranks. What this does is it raises, it powers up your physical attack of your ally by 120 times or 120% damage. I'd rather him be a support. Texting pairs, what do they get? Their sing move becomes 1.5 times stronger. What is a sing, what sing pairs are weak? to normal types he is a normal type guys nobody no nobody is weak to normal types give him super effective up worthless give himself super effective up worthless give him mystery solve get that physical moves up next effect by three stat ranks use tackle worthless he's better off as a support if he's a support he sinks Everyone gets a double sync buff rather than just one. You do not want to use him as your sync nuker. 
Yes, the target's defense, the more the target's defense is lowered, the stronger your sync move is. But I'd rather get a sync pair that has a super effective attack, give him super effective up, give that sync pair mystery solve, get that physical moves up next effect, and power up that ally so that that becomes a very strong ally. Yes, he has B Leer, which can restrain the opponent and let's just restrain is such a worthless status condition guys he has multipliers with the opponent restrain but restrain is a temporary um status condition yes you will never miss an attack yes you lower the opponent's attack defense and speed stat and yes the opponent uh whatchamacallit will not have will not be able to evade any of your future attacks but that just solid solidifies my point, guys. I wish that he was a support tech instead rather than a tech support. We have support techs. Lorelei, Variety Scout, is a support tech. She's a support sync pair, but she can lower the opponent's stats, and that's what makes support techs better than tech supports, which you will probably not use his sync move at all. You'd rather use the support sync pair's sync move or another sync pair sync move in order to dish out damage. So that's pretty sad. And now he has passive skills. Yes, the first time you attack an opponent using tackle, that single opponent will get a type rebuff of whatever the opponent is weak to. So if the opponent is weak to fire, the opponent gets a fire type rebuff. If the opponent is weak to ghost, the opponent gets a ghost type rebuff. If the opponent is weak to ice, the opponent gets an ice type rebuff. But what do rebuffs mean for Steven himself? Nothing, because he is a normal sync pair. Tackle does absolutely no damage. And his sync move, is a normal type attack so you do not want to sink using him you do not want to attack using him it's just there to use b -Lear. he's just there to rebuff the opponent and that's about it what he does is he powers up allies powers up allies powers up allies so i wish he was a support tech or just a support instead of a tech sync pair Team Immunizing Command just gives you a Condition Nullification effect once you use a Trainer move and it just happens once so that you will not be hit with Trap, with Confusion, with Flinching which is okay, okay, okay. Team Easy Target Speed Up. If the opponent has a No Evasion effect, that means after you use B Leer, it raises everyone's speed stat if you attack an opponent using Tackle. That's all he's good for, guys. Tackle the opponent. Give the opponent a type rebuff. Power up your other sync pairs. He does nothing else except debuff the opponent using B Leer. But he has a sync grid. And at 1 out of 5, we discussed this. He only gets Sand Shelter. But at 2 out of 5, he gets interesting. He gets easy target charge, which every single time the opponent has a no evasion effect, that means you use B Leer. You can attack the opponent, you can charge up your move gauge minus uh, plus one. Get full bracing command if you use a trainer move. You have a 30% chance of raising your defense and special defense. Mystery solve MP refresh is a good one. By getting this, you can max out an ally's physical moves up next effect to plus 10. I like this trainer move. I just dislike how he is labeled as a tech. I will repeat that so many times in this slide. So if you use Mystery Solve on an, on an ally three times without the ally attacking, you can max out an ally's damage. Physical moves up next effect plus 10 is a four times or 400 times, 400% 400 damage. It's very, very strong. If you have seen Cosplay Guzma, Whenever he misses his dynamic punch, his physical moves up next effect goes up plus 3 stat ranks. Do it plus 10 stat ranks. Very, very, very strong damage. He's capable of powering up your allies to become very, very, very strong. Natural Remedy, Safety Tether, Sands of Time, super effective up. 
MP Refresh 2 is also a good one. Tackle Flabbergast 4 can make the opponent confused if you use Tackle. Team Debut Dash at the start of the battle, you raise everyone's speed stats. See? Support! 3 out of 5 after you use your Sync move, which I don't know why you want to use a Sync move using him. You get your Sync move countdown minus 2. A little positive. Easy target staggering hit 4 if the opponent is... Or has a no evasion, that means be leer, attack the opponent using tangle, you have a 50% chance of making the opponent flinch. I'd rather this is a 100% or a higher percent chance, 50% is just meh. Mystery Solve Mighty Friend 9, when you use Mystery Solve on an ally, not only that is, does it power up your physical moves up next effect plus 3, stat ranks it raises it to plus four instead that's 160 percent strong damage and that just makes or rather um earlier i said mystery solve three times no four times rather three plus three plus three plus three but it maxes out at 10 but if you get mystery solve mighty friend nine it's plus four plus four then plus two so max out immediately on tempo, after you after you enter the battle, speeds up the move gauge. Restrained scope 9. If the opponent is restrained, how do you restrain the opponent? Be leer. You lower the opponent's accuracy stat minus 1 every single time you attack an opponent. But again, restrain is a tem temporary status condition. You got restraining sync up 9. Your sync move gets 90% stronger if you use your sync move. But again, with restraining sync up 9 plus... A built-in relentless, the lower the opponent's defense stat is, the stronger the damage. But he is a normal type sync pair. Nobody is weak to normal types. I'd rather use another type to sync instead. Sync free for all after you use your sync move. You get a free move next for everyone. Trainer sync redemption one after you use your sync move for the very first time. His MP for every single one of his moves. That's B Lear. That's super effective up. And that is his Mystery Solve. Gets an MP refresh, basically. It only happens like once every battle. And you get to power up your Sync move by 25 plus 25 if you get the Sync nude tiles. So, Sync Grid. Now, as you might know, it's impossible to get every single tile on his grid. But for me, I'd rather go for something like this, guys. Just in case you are insistent of using a sync move let's just say that we got trainer sync redemption one over here so that we restore his mp we got a super effective up, up mp refresh here we got a restrained scope because we will be able to restrain the opponent once we use b leer and every single time we attack an opponent that way the opponent's um accuracy stat will lower 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 and then we got easy target staggering hit for so that if we attack an opponent when it is it after using B Lear, we have a 50% chance of making the opponent flinch. We got a trainer move mighty friend 9 over here. So that just by using um trainer move, or rather, maybe I'll remove this. Maybe I'll go for mystery solve MP refresh instead and maybe go this one. So just by using this, once I use my trainer move, I can use my trainer moves three times on an ally and max out their damage so quickly the battle just finishes right off the bat. But again, he's more of a support than a tech aside from the B leer, aside from the rebuff thing. But can we expect a lot of damage from him? Well, I would like to thank Jack for the computations here. Steven! Tackle, tackle, tackle. What can tackle do? Nothing. Very weak damage for tackle. But in terms of the sync move, guys, Steven over here can dish out the number two strongest in terms of sync move damage at 5,692,680 if all the sync grid tiles are activated. But Holiday Whitney is stronger at 7,273,000. 800 and honestly holiday with me is much better in terms of a tech unit because it can debuff the opponent using horn leech it can set up the reins it can set up everything meanwhile steven is a support he is a support sync pair he is such a horrible excuse 
of a texting pair. But that aside, guys, that's the timeline once again. That's all the things that I would say about Steven. Honestly, Steven is pretty good. In fact, out of everyone here, Steven, probably my rank 1, 2, or 3. You can rank it in, in many ways. But he is probably near my one top one top top two out of the bunch, depending on how you look at it. But as a texting pair, I'd rather he be classified as a support because I'd want to use my sync move using him once, get that trainer sync redemption, and use my super effective up or my mystery solve one more time because of trainer sync redemption mp refresh basically for everything one more time but as a normal sync pair i find no positive things using him as my sync nuker when i can have another sync move powered up by his super effective up dish out the damage so he is a terrible if he's not a normal type I'd rank him much higher than that. But as a support sync pair, he is top tier. Scout for him if you wish or skip him. Let me know in the comment section. But more importantly, go for your faves instead of the meta. Nobody is meta in this update, by the way, guys. <laughs> Nobody is meta in this update. Steven just brings in the rebuffs, the missing rebuffs. If there are any missing rebuffs, Steven is the answer because he can give any type of rebuff depending on what the opponent is weak to. But that aside, nobody is meta in this update. So go for your faves. That's more important. Let me know if you're scouting for Steven or not. But that's the end of my Do Not Scout video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comment section if you did not or if I'm not sus enough for you. And with that... Subscribe if you haven't, and become a member. Do not be sus. And ask, keep asking for memberships. If my members feel obliged to give you a membership, wait for it, they will do it. But do not demand memberships from my awesome members. You know who you are, you sus person. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you to all my awesome gifters for your kindness and generosity. And thank you to my awesome two-year members. Thank you to Shadow, Phil, Alcin, Roy, Luca, and Jeremy for two years. Thank you to Azriam, Rayon, Marcella, Ewis for one year. Thank you Ultra Bolt tier member, Marokman. Thank you Great Bolt tier member, Aurora, Espion, and Yuki Murasaki. Thank you to my Premier Ball member, Shido Vods. Thank you to my other Pokeball members. That's Suya Gold Up, Saras Gaming, Kundan Mishra, Pokefrendo, and Edward. Thank you. Thank you so much. And with that said, I end this quickly. This is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. You heard his team skull Grunt. I will see you in the next video. Rawr.